broadcasting from the TV production studio at Canaan High School on Monday, October 7th. This is your Buck Report. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about today's events and meetings. The freshman junior varsity and varsity volleyball teams will travel to play North Carolina today at 3.30 and 5.30. Good luck, Lady Bucks. <laughs> the Can Island Mi Mountain Bike Team competed hard in their races yesterday in Clinton, Maryland. The races were Logan Pringle, Dominic Brando, Nick Jacobs, Emerson Patty, Nolan Straub, and Caden Latchall. Congra congratulations to all the racers. And now for a look ahead. Anyone interested in trying the sport of wrestling this winter should attend the interest meeting tomorrow at 245 in room 210. No experience necessary. Anyone interested in wrestling next winter should attend this meeting to receive some important information. The National Art Honor Society will meet in room 158 tomorrow at 230. All interested students should attend. Come prepared to make ornaments for the Haven Ministries Service Project. Remember to bring your completed applications. See your email, Ms. Moyer, if you have any questions. The Social Studies Society will be electing officers at its next meeting after school in Portable 2. Anyone interested in running for the offices of President, Vice President, Treasurer, or Secretary of the Social Studies Society should contact Mr. Robbins and create a short 30-second speech or ad that can be presented at Tuesday's meeting. Voting will take place at Tuesday's meeting, so make every effort to be there. All girls interested in the Lady Bucks lacrosse should attend the meeting tomorrow after school in the cafeteria. It is very important that all SAD members attend the meeting this Thursday. We will be preparing for the homecoming parade. Also, please check Google Classroom for a special announcement that requires a response. Following the closing arguments in a murder trial, the 12 members of the jury must deliberate with a guilty verdict, meaning death for the accused and inner city teen, as a dozen jurors try to reach a unanimous decision while sequestered in a room one juror cast considerable doubt on elements of the case. Personal issues soon rise to the surface, and conflict threatens to derail the delicate process that will decide one boy's faith. Check out the verdict and fall production continuing this week. Performances are Thursday at 3 p.m., Saturday at 7 p.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. The performance this Thursday at 3 p.m. is free to everyone. All other performances are $5, and tickets can be purchased online or at the door. On Saturday, the Cat Island Rotary Club will be setting up a donation station at the homecoming football game to support local children in need with backpack meals. They are asking for the following. Pasta cups, 16 ounces, creamy peanut butter, chicken noodle soup, canned tuna or chicken, individual cereal boxes, oatmeal packets, juice boxes, fruit and applesauce cups. Your participation in this food drive will not only help our local community, but also satisfy service learning credits. There will be a dance company meeting on October 15th from 2.30 to 3.30 in the dance studio. Dancers will be shown choreographed pieces and decisions will be made. Dancers should come prepared to dance and learn finale choreography. For questions, please see your email, Ms. Wright. 2021 Spirit Wear is on sale now. T-shirts are $20 and sweatpants are $25. Forms are located in the main campus cafeteria under the TVs. If you love competition and despise other classes, then we have the products for you. It's that time of the year where girls are rushing to find their dresses and boys their bow ties. That also means it's time for you to get your school spirit on. An easy way to get involved is spirit chains. The class with the longest chain will win a prize. Freshmen are gray and sophomores are green. Juniors are orange and seniors are purple. That's all the time we have today, Bucks. Have a great day, Kay.